Imagine this, coming home after a long day of school or work, flopping down on the couch, grabbing a controller, and playing the World of Warcraft like a third-person action RPG. This is possible today, right now, thanks to a host of add-ons letting you play WoW with a controller, while also making it more of an immersive RPG. But you can only do this on the computer. As of yet, Blizzard has yet to take the steps themselves to port the game to consoles, but they totally could, and not only would it work, it would be surprisingly fun, especially with the graphics overhauls and revamps to the attack and casting animations from recent WoW expansions, the game looks surprisingly good up close, and even more surprisingly, it plays well with a controller. Now there's a few questions you might be asking yourself, does it actually work? Why would anyone want to do this? And should I try it? And I'm going to answer those questions for you here today, but first a shout out, Skillshare is the sponsor of today's video, it is an online learning community for creators, with more than 25,000 classes in design, illustration, photo and film, and more, here you can fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even start a brand new career. Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. I myself was fond of some of the social media classes. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm that great with like Twitter and Facebook and stuff, so thanks Skillshare for giving me some learning. It is also surprisingly affordable with an annual subscription of less than $10 a month and premium memberships giving you unlimited access to join all of the classes. Join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare today. In fact, the first 500 of you to use the link in the description below are gonna get a two month free trial. So thank you to Skillshare and let's get into the video. So the first big question is, does this actually work? Are you actually gonna have a good experience? Well, after spending a couple afternoons with it, I gotta say I was pleasantly surprised. First off, the combat actually works really well. Now I, I felt like personally the melee combat did feel the best as you could just walk up with any melee character, click one of your attack skills and it would automatically start start attacking anything you were in range of, it kind of in that way feels like a action RPG, just hitting buttons and then attacking the enemies that you're close enough to actually attack. There's also a, a lot of options available with the controller, surprisingly. You might think, can you really get all of your skills on it? But there's well over 40 possible keybinds with all of the face buttons, the right bumper and trigger, and then the modifiers of the left bumper and trigger giving you access to multiples more than that. Again, it's, it's well over 40 skills that you can bind just to a controller. And for many of the classes in WoW, especially with all the pruning that they've done over the years, it's more than sufficient. Now I have spent some time as well with range classes. I, I played a little bit of one of my higher level mages and again it worked pretty well. There's a keybind that essentially mimics tab targeting so all you got to do is face your target with your camera, hit that button and then you're locked on and can start using any of your abilities. Uh, the combat actually was probably one of the better parts of the whole experience with a controller and I thought that was going to be the real downfall of it but being able to move your character around with those joysticks and actually attacking enemies works pretty flawlessly now the biggest hang up that is likely to happen is when it comes to the healing although the add-ons do have a ways to deal with this there are interactions that you can do basically with the unit frames of your party or of your raid and that is undoubtedly where it's going to get really sticky and i want to talk about the high level stuff later in a minute basic combat going out there level up with a character, even high level characters with a ton of skills available, it totally works on a controller. Now besides the combat, there's also the world interaction or NPC talking. This also works really well. Essentially where your mouse is when it's placed at the center of the screen works as the interact location. So all you gotta do is walk up to something and then hit the interact button on your controller. And if it's an NPC, it'll open up the dialogue options. Any sort of interaction that with the mouse and keyboard would require you to click on it, you can easily do with the mouse that is then bound to the interact button on your gamepad. The menus are also really, really nice with the console port add-on. They've got this really smooth and slick looking menu system whenever you hit the start button. I would say one of my biggest hangups with trying to play WoW with a controller, trying to manage your inventory and your bags. Now they have this really cool thing where you can basically snap from section to section and going through all of your menus and stuff is actually pretty smooth. All you gotta do is click these buttons to move around from one spot to the next and it's it snaps and it's the same case for when you're moving through your bags but just dealing with all of the bag slots and trying to click through everything and uh, it felt a little cumbersome I would say that was probably the most difficult and annoying part was that inventory and bag management whenever the discussion comes up of something like wow on consoles you get the people coming out of the woodwork being like well, what about the end game how what are you gonna do with pvp you gotta do high level dungeons
dungeons and raids? You're going to be pushing max content? Uh, probably not. Like, you totally could go out there, but you're going to be at a disadvantage. Everything about playing with a controller compared to mouse and keyboard is a little bit slower and a little bit more cumbersome. You can definitely get in a pretty good rhythm, and once you learn all of your keybinds, you can become pretty fluid, but you're still going to be basically keyboard turning with the joystick. It won't be as good if you were to try to, like, push for Gladiator or do max level mythic dungeons and stuff. It's going to be much harder, and you will be at a disadvantage from people who are playing with a mouse and keyboard. But that's not what I think this experience is for. It really is more for a chill experience. If you're leveling up an alt, maybe even you're just doing dailies on your main and you're not worried about PvP, this is a totally viable way to play. And not only is it viable, in, in a lot of ways, it kind of feels better. Having the camera zoomed all the way into your character and playing this like a third-person RPG, it really adds to the immersion. For me, it, it gave like a new perspective to the game because so often when I play WoW and when most people I know play WoW, you're basically zoomed all the way back and you can barely see any of the detail. Now, obviously some of the older world zones don't look particularly great up close, but especially once you get to the newer expansions, they've done so much graphically to WoW to make it look better and more detailed that it actually looks really good when you're playing from an up close perspective. This isn't the ideal way to play if you're trying to be the world's most competitive player. You're probably not going to want to do this, but if you're just looking for a chill, relaxed experience and, and kind of a different way to play WoW, I've genuinely really been enjoying it. So the second big question is, why would anyone want to do this? Well, everything I just talked about when it comes to a different way to see the game, we also have to think about the console market. Opening up WoW to the console market would undoubtedly bring in a lot of new players. Already, console MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV, The Elder Scrolls Online, Neverwinter, they are out there and they totally work. If Blizzard wanted to, they could do that as well. Now, the next big question you might have is, should you try it? My answer would be, as I've already said, if you're looking for like a new way to experience WoW, I think this is totally legitimate. And it can be really fun, especially if you're looking to hang out and level some alts, sit on the couch on your big screen TV. This is a good way to go. But if you're looking to be the most competitive, high-end, cutting-edge PvP or PvE, it's probably not going to be for you. Now, how do you do this stuff? Well, there's a couple of steps you need to know. First, you're going to want to download the console port add-on. And this is what gives you that controller interface and all of the in-game functionality. You also want to download WoW Mapper. I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. Now, there's also a couple other things that I do. The action cam is this in-game command. You just type slash console action cam on. And that's what moves the camera to that slightly off-center, over-the-shoulder perspective. And then again, especially with all these new attack and spell animations, it looks pretty slick. And the final thing that I do that you've seen in this gameplay is the immersion add-on. And this is what changes the NPC dialogue and makes it feel like more of a console action RPG. So it's a pretty cool thing. The final question that I would bring up is, will Blizz ever do this? Will Blizz actually take WoW and port it over to consoles? Because again, as we've said, you can get this experience on your PC right now with just a couple add-ons and some tweaks here and there. But the console version, I don't suspect that Blizz is actually going to ever do. I feel like at this point, we're too far along in WoW's lifespan. It's 15 years old. My guess is they probably feel like it's not worth their resources, even though it's very likely that they would pull in new players from the console who have never played the PC version before. I doubt they feel like it's worth the effort to, to make all the necessary changes that they would feel they want to do. I don't suspect that they will do it. And then there's also the fact that it's probably going to piss off their existing PC player base. This idea that they would be taking WoW resources and supporting the game to console versus using those resources to just make current WoW better. The people who play WoW right now, there would certainly be an uproar about something like that. But I think it would be pretty cool. I think that if Blizz decided to do it and they did the action cam by default and had it kind of close to your character and built the game around playing on a controller, it's so funny and I can't quite pinpoint, well I can. It feels like playing a new game in the WoW universe and it's actually pretty interesting. So that's it guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts in the description below. Have you tried the console port add-on with all of these changes? And if so, what'd you think of it? I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time.